Well, welcome back to the morning show. It's time for your money. Income volatility can make it especially hard to pay your bills on time. There's a new way to receive your wages, and it may or may not be a good way uh, to help with this, but we are talking about the pros and cons of InstaPay with consumer economics educator Kathy Sweedler this morning. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning. How are you doing? Good to see you both. Yeah, I'm you doing too. great. So tell us what, first and foremost, InstaPay is. Well, InstaPay really takes um, advantage of technology that allows there to be transfers from, you know, from one account to another very, very quickly, like just on the bot spot. And what is being applied to is wages, which allows um, employers to get their wages essentially almost right after they finish working their hours. So you work and then you get the hours that you worked in pay. Um, so, we, you know, there's pros and cons to this. It means you're getting your paycheck early or at least part of it. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell us, I guess, uh, what's the overall feeling or, I guess, reaction from people who are signing up for this? I'm assuming that if people are signing up for this, then they have to pay at least some sort of, um, I don't want to say penalty or fine, but they probably have to pay something for the service, right? <laughs> Well, it kind of just depends on the employer, and each employer is choosing, you know, there are different apps out there, but quite a few different ones, um, and it depends which ones they're utilizing, whether or not there are fees. But then you make an excellent point. If you choose to um, opt into something like this, you definitely want to know what are the fees, mm -hmm. what are the structures. Um, and is this really going to work for you? Um, because when we talk about it working for somebody, you want to make sure that even if you're taking out money, you know, you take out some Tuesday, you take out some Thursday, that at the, when you do get your paycheck, remember, there'll be less in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and right. So, you know, you want to make sure you have enough money left for those important b bills that you are planning on paying out of that paycheck. So we see that as, you know, one of the challenges of using Instapay pay is thinking ahead and thinking, what can I take this money out for that won't put me in a bind later? And I know you said it, it depends on the employer, but can you decide that you, if you need to pay a bill, say for instance, it's due tomorrow and you need that money now, can you decide that day like, mm -hmm. okay, this is when I need the money type of thing? Yes, and so this is where I see that it could have some real advantages to people um, when unexpected expenses that are serious come up, mm -hmm. um, rather than going to borrowing money from a high interest rate um, loan or having an overdraft, then it might be that this would give people the flexibility to pull that money early, take care of those expenses, and really, I mean, they're using money they've earned rather than borrowing money or incurring an overdraft fee. So this could be, a, you know, definitely a cost-saving method in this kind of a situation. And personally, what recommendation would you have for using something like InstaPay? Is this something that you would recommend for, I guess, any day people to give a try? Well, I think this is something where everybody needs to figure out if a financial tool is a good match for them. And people need to think about their impulse control. Will this mean there's no money left in the paycheck at the end? What kind of parameters can you set for yourself so that you um, have that flexibility but don't end up um, being really disappointed on your uh, you know, paycheck day. Mm -hmm. And so that requires thinking ahead. That requires planning and saying, these are the dollars I need to have in my paycheck on the day that I receive it. And if you're a good planner and that's something you feel that you can do, then um, maybe InstaPay would work well for you, um, especially if you're a person that has this income volatility that you referred to earlier on. But if you know that you're a little bit impulsive and you might spend more when you're out with friends, um, <laughs> then maybe this wouldn't be the best option for you to 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 put into play. I, I don't want to say that it's that it's a bad thing or a good thing. That's really not for me to decide for somebody else. But I think it's worth thinking about it before you are offered this option and you just jump into it. And Kathy, real quick, before we uh, wrap up this morning, you also wanted to mention that if people haven't gotten their stimulus check yet, they still can get it. That's right. So you can still get it. And you, if you haven't received it, you should be checking on why you haven't received it. If you thought you weren't eligible, but now you're wondering, please go to getmypaymentillinois.org 
and check it out. They have a nice um, feature on there where you can see, are you eligible? And keep in mind, I still am hearing a lot of buzz about, well, if I take this money, I'm going to have to pay it back. That is not true. Mm -hmm. If you qualify for this money, it is a tax credit and you will not have to pay it back. So it is a way to help out with loss of income or just, I mean, it is a tax credit for people who are eligible. All right, Kathy, thank you so much for your time this Wednesday. We certainly appreciate you. Thank you. Have a great week. You too. We've got more news and weather coming up after the break. We'll be right back.